Welcome to the campus of St. Martin's University in Lacey, Washington, inside Marcus Pavilion as we get set for game number two of two in the GNAC Basketball Championship. First men's game of the tournament here in Lacey. It's another 8-9 matchup at the nine seed, Western Oregon, the Wolves from Monmouth, Oregon, in the black jerseys. Western Washington Vikings, the eight seed, and the white jerseys as the slated home team. Western Washington being introduced. Starters for both sides. There will be no national anthem for this game as we had it for the opening game and that takes care of that. Starters for Western Washington. In the backcourt, senior RJ Seacrest, D'Angelo Menace, the GNAC Defensive Player of the Year. Lucas Holden in the starting lineup, Jalen Green, and Luke Lovelady down low for Western Washington. Men's basketball has two 20-minute halves. Speaking to Western Oregon head coach Wes Pfeiffer before the game, he's ready to have fun. He knows it's going to be a battle. He thinks there'll be some nerves between these two teams as they feel each other out. They've had two contests, both won by Western Oregon. A close contest in Bellingham at Western Washington that the Wolves pulled out with a late three. And then a game more recently down in Monmouth that Coach Pfeiffer even said, look, the game was a lot closer than the final score, and we are underway. Western Washington begins with the basketball. Luke Lovelady, top of the key. Nowhere to go with it. Needs to find somebody. Lucas Holden. D'Angelo Minnis. Outside, Holden open for three in front of the Wolves bench. That ball hung on the rim and fell through. 3-0 early. Price with it for the Wolves. Hands off to Myers. Cranston finds in the lane. Morrill Keeler for the easy bucket. It is 3-2. Just about one minute gone by. Love Lady. Looking down low, Jalen Green on the right block. Finds Love Lady open. Bumped, no foul called. Back come the Wolves of Western Oregon. Myers loses the ball. Jalen Green snatches it away. Ahead to Menace. Menace slows things down. Let's the offense get set. Finds Jalen Green. Green fake the three, loses the basketball off his leg. That'll be Western Oregon basketball. Western Oregon 6-10 in the conference season, 7-17 seven and 17 overall. Western Washington one game better in the conference at 7-10, and 10, but 14-3, one game over 500 overall. Western o Oregon looking to take the lead. Cranston high off the window, gets it to rattle home. Cameron Cranston gives the Wolves their first lead. Menace to Lovelady. Strong to the hoop, lays it in. Vikings back up by one. Myers finally gets across half court. Picked up by Lovelady. It's a bit of a mismatch, both tall, but Myers has a little bit of speed. Long three missed by Clay. Western Washington the other way. R.J. Seacrest out of Bremerton, Washington. Finds Lovelady. Lovelady spins in the lane, has it stripped away. Back come the Wolves. Wolves can take the lead to the lane, off window, and a foul is called on R.J. Seacrest. That will send Myers to the line, the freshman out of Fresno, California. First foul of the game goes to Seacrest. Keon Myers, 6'5", 170. 
to tie the ball game and does. One more free throw for Myers, the freshman. Short, but it rattles home. Off the front iron, first lead of the game for the Wolves at 6-5. Minutes in the lane, outside to Holden. Holden into the lane. And a, is that a kickball? Yes, it is. Kickball in Western Oregon, so it'll be Viking basketball. Seacrest. It's a love lady. Jalen Green. Directing traffic for the Vikings. The three up by Green is short. Love Lady, the offensive rebound, resets to Minnis. Holden wide open in the corner. Minnis didn't see him. Love Lady down low. The ball out of bounds off of Western Oregon. Ten to shoot for the Vikings. Seacrest to inbound. Out top, Holden open, won't take the three. Loses the ball, gets it back. Five to shoot. Menace, top of the key. Two to shoot. He's going to have to. He will. Off back iron. Rims out. Love Lady's tap won't go. Ball out of bounds. They say last touch by Luke Love Lady. 16 32 left. Wolves up 6 5. Myers off the screen, guarded by Jalen Green. Moriel Keeler, point blank, lays it up and in. 8-5, Wolves. Menace, love lady, loses the handle, gets it back. Menace and love lady playing a two-man game. They find Green. Jalen Green, 10 to shoot. Green leaves his feet, never smart. Finds Seacrest looking for the alley-oop to Love Lady. They were not on the same page. It'll be Wolves ball after the timeout. 15.44 left. Wolves 8, Vikings 5 on GNAC.TV. Back to action after the timeout. Sean Wally with you in Lacey, Washington. Western Oregon, a three-point lead and the basketball. Looking down low, Morrill Keeler having a way. He's got the size down low, 10-5 Wolves. Can the Vikings respond? RJ Seacrest, the jumper, short. Rebound to Cranston, back comes Western Oregon. Myers, guarded by Lovelady. They swing it to Price. 
Morel Keeler, a mismatch, but he travels. Dakota Ayala in for the Vikings. Love Lady to the bench. Menace across half court for the Vikings. Finds Jalen Green on the left block. Outside. Three on the way. Ayala off back iron. Wolves the other way. Right to the right side of the lane. I think Ayala got a piece of the first shot, but there's Morel Keeler. It's 12-5, a seven-point Wolf lead. A turnover by Menace. Wolves on the run. They've got a 3-1 break into the lane. Myers, the bucket. Wolves running away early. Up 14-5. Timeout Western Washington. 14-19 left. It's back after this on GNAC.TV. Out of the timeout, Vikings haven't scored in quite a while. They were up 5-3. Jalen Green, the loose ball on the floor. Six minutes gone by in half number one. Menace off the screen from Ayala. Kai Johnson in the game for Western Washington. He's a bit of a homecoming as he went to Olympia High School, finds Ayala down low, 14-7 early in this one. Ayala comes away with a loose ball, needs to find somebody. Gets it to Menace. Menace trying to do his patented shake and bake. The Rocket finds Jalen Green in the corner. Step back, Holden for three, it's short. Off front iron. Ayala taps it out of bounds. It'll be Western Oregon basketball. Western Oregon up seven with the ball. And Jalen Green is called for a foul, but he looks to have injured an already suspect knee that he has injured earlier this season. And wow, he let out a yell and bounced right back up. It's a good sign for Western Washington. And he cannot continue. Hobbles off the court. All the way to the locker room. Seacrest back in for Western Washington. Jalen Green has had issues with that knee. Not a good time for it to rear its ugly head for Western Washington. Cranston goes baseline. Throws it right to Kai Johnson. Johnson the other way, dribbles it off his foot. Ball loose on the floor. Wolves have it. Jump ball called. It'll be Western Oregon possession arrow. Twelve fifty-one remaining in half number one. Two twenty-minute halves in men's basketball. So far, so good for the Wolves of Western Oregon. A jumper from sixteen won't go, but Morel Keeler battles for the rebound. He attacks the lane, throws it into the crowd. It'll be Viking basketball. Zach Moore in for Western Oregon. 
Morreal Keeler takes a seat, which should bring smiles to the Vikings because Morreal Keeler has done a great job here in the first seven and a half minutes of this one. Holden switches to the left hand, finds Ayala. Kai Johnson, Seacrest, baseline. Foul called on Western Oregon. Colin Warmoff hit with the foul. That is his first. And the team's first. Vikings on the inbound. Menace. Menace goes baseline with the left hand. And he is fouled on the floor. Quickly, two team fouls on Western Oregon. Foul on Hughes of the Wolves. Ayala inbounds to Menace. Menace to Ayala. He's got the size advantage on Cranston in the lane. Ayala strong to Seacrest, who lays it up and in. 14-9, Wolves by five. Valise hands off to Hughes. Hughes splits the defense, throws it right to Holden. To the delight of the Western faithful here in Lacey. Seacrest to Kai Johnson, he's fouled and won. Take a look at the replay, great work by Austin Burns. Kai Johnson getting the and one opportunity. Timeout on the floor, 11.34 left, first half. Vikings down three to the Wolves on GNAC TV. Vikings making a run here in Lacey, in Marcus Pavilion, on the campus of St. Martin's University, the GNAC Basketball Championships. Ty Johnson to convert the three-point play, and he does. Maybe he does. Rattles around and through. Vikings within two. Wolves look to answer. Morel Keeler back in the ball game. Vikings went on a bit of a run when he checked out for a breather. They go right to him. Outside to Myers. Myers, the baseline jumper, easy. 16-12, Wolves up four. Menace in the lane, finds Ayala. Right back to Menace, the jumper from 14. Hits the front of the rim and down in. 16-14, Vikings trail the Wolves by two. Defensive player of the year in the GNAC is Minnis. He slips, he is okay. Cross court pass, Morel Keeler down low. Myers, instead in the corner, it's a three by the Wolves short. There's Morel Keeler again. Holden blocked it, Kai Johnson recovers. D'Angelo Menace wanted the basketball. Kai didn't see him. Johnson to Ayala, top of the key. Menace finally gets the ball. Menace throws it to Holden, goes baseline for the jam. Tying the game, 16 all.
Tyreek Price working on Johnson, and Johnson will be called for the foul. This is Kai Johnson's first foul. Each team with three fouls. Cranston inbounds to Myers. Myers off the screen. Minnis tries to stay with him. He finds Clay. They swing it to Price for three. Rims out. Morrill Keeler the rebound. And there is Clay, point blank, two point lead for the Wolves. D'Angelo Minnis picks up his dribble. Ayala down low, the left hand off glass. We are tied yet again. Price off the screen. The jumper from 16, rattles home. Wolves back in front. Kai Johnson, hands off to the rocket. D'Angelo Menace in the lane. Finds Holden for the easy layup. Good court vision by D'Angelo Menace. Wolves, another opportunity to take the lead. Clay to Moriel Keeler. Tyreek Price has it now. Back to Moriel Keeler. Myers, nine to shoot in the lane. Spins, stops, nowhere to go. Left-hander and a late whistle. That foul will be on Kai Johnson. No, I'm sorry, RJ Seacrest hit with the foul. His second. Fourth team foul on Western Washington. Keon Myers, the 6'5 freshman out of Fresno, California, at the line. Ayala and Seacrest to the bench for Western Washington. Luke Lovelady and Jalen Green return. Good to see Green get back on the floor. He must be all right. Myers gives the Wolves back a two-point lead. Menes looks at his coaching staff for instruction, calls out the offensive set. Menes finds Kai Johnson, left-hand dribble, goes baseline, and traveling is called. Johnson tried to spin. That foot moved a bit too much. Cranston to inbound to Myers. Right back to Cranston. Across half court. Myers and Cranston playing a two-man game. Now they get Price involved. Price picks up the dribble. Finds Moriel Keeler. Outside the long three by Clay. Off the back iron, high. Off the back iron. Clay gets it back but throws it away. Nice steal by Lovelady. Lovelady in the lane. Can't get it to go. Clay comes away with it. Back come the Wolves. Price picks up the dribble. Finds Clay. All the way across court, Moriel Keeler, the floater. Rims out, Jalen Green has the rebound. Vikings down two, seven, 25 and counting in half number one. Minnis tried for a skip pass to Lovelady, but a kick ball is called. That saved the day for the Vikings because that could have been a turnover to Western Oregon. 7.23 left in half, number one. Wolves 22, Vikings 20. Back after this on GNAC.TV.
competitive first half here in Lacey, Washington. Sean Wally with you, along with producer Austin Burns and the great Giselle running camera for us here on this early evening on the West Coast. 22-20, Western Oregon up a bucket. Out of the timeout, the Western Washington basketball after the kicked ball call. Lucas Holden to Jalen Green. Got to watch that knee. Out top, Kai Johnson with it. The Olympia High School product. Menace, he'll shoot from there instead. Finds Green down low. Easy layup. We're tied yet again. Can the Wolves take the lead one more time? Cranston, the long jumper. Off iron, Jalen Green. Wow, how high did he jump for that? We know one knee's okay. Menace, baseline. The shimmy, the shake outside. Kai Johnson for three, it's short. Holding the rebound right back. Tries to go up, ball loose. Out of bounds, bodies on the floor. It is Viking basketball. I don't believe anything else is being called. So we're still tied at 22. Holden to inbound. He finds Johnson. Menace. Rallying the troops. Jalen Green, top of the key. The pump fake, the drive, the flush. No, but it pops out. A break for the Wolves. Instead of the Vikings taking the lead, Cranston wants three. Doesn't get it. Love Lady Skies for the rebound. Menace, the nice spin to avoid Clay. Menace, the behind the back dribble. The handles on this kid. Holy smokes. Holden drives strong in the lane, gets it to roll. Vikings retake the lead. Myers finds Price. Tyreek Price, the right-hand dribble. He picks it up. Kai Johnson on him. Nowhere to go. Clay finds Moriel Keeler. Six to shoot. Look at the swap by Love Lady. 5.30 remaining. Dakota Ayala back in the game for the Vikings. Love Lady to the bench. And Hughes returns for Western Oregon into Cranston. The long jumper rims out. Jalen Green tapped it, but right to Hughes. Wide open for three is Clay. Off iron. Jalen Green that time corrals it with two hands. Minnis taking his time across half court. Kai Johnson finds Ayala. Johnson to Green. Green baseline jumper, down and off the rim. Clay, a nice spin. The underhand to Muriel Keeler in the lane, the left hand off back iron. We have a foul on Western Oregon. That'll be on Yosani Clay. Both teams with four fouls in the half. Just 4.50 remaining in a fast moving, fun first half in Lacey, Washington. Menace, fake the baseball pass, finds Holden for three. Not even close. Rebound to the Wolves. Racing the other way, that's Clay. That ball is loose again. Love Lady corrals it. Gets it back from Ayala, ahead. To the floor, General D'Angelo Menace going up top to Johnson. Pass not where it should be, and now it's a turnover. Cranston ahead to Hughes. Hughes in the lane. Kai Johnson not called for a foul. Ball loose, out of bounds. It will be Viking basketball with 4.14 left. Officials discussing things. Ayala set to inbound. Viking head coach Tony Dominguez talking to D'Angelo Menace and Lucas Holden.
Vikings desperately missing Daniel Hornbuckle. Fantastic guard this season for Western Washington. Ayala, the jumper from the left elbow, off iron. Love Lady saves it, spikes it off the floor. Battle for the loose ball, Clay has it. Ahead to Hughes, he's all alone, misses the layup, and Ayala comes away with it. Important possession possibly for Western Washington on defense. That could have tied the ball game. The Wolves were point blank. Menace. Outside, Holden open instead of the three, drives in the lane, finds Love Lady. Now the ball is loose. Back the other way. The Wolves, and that's Clay, misses the layup. How did that happen? The left hand, he left it short. Menace for three. That's off the rim. And we have a foul on, I believe, Western Oregon. Let's see. It is on Western Oregon's John Morrell Keeler. Three minutes, 11 seconds left in half number one. I'm going to catch my breath. Come on back after this on GNAC.TV. They have changed the foul and given it to Hughes of Western Oregon. After the timeout, Vikings inbounds. That is Lucas Holden on the baseline. Vikings have a two-point lead here in the first half in Lacey, Washington. Sean Wally with you at St. Martin's University. Ayala swings it to Holden. Right back to Ayala. D'Angelo Menes, double teamed, loses the basketball. Believe it was poked away off the Wolves, and the official agrees. 2.59 remaining in half number one. Menace, the inbound. Five to shoot. Menace into the lane, has it swatted away by Morel Keeler. Back come the Wolves. Clay has it, finds Cranston in the lane. Left-hander won't go. Rebound to Holden. Back come the Vikings. Kai Johnson slows it down. Love Lady baseline, bumps into Morel Keeler, doesn't care, but the shot is short. Morel Keeler the rebound. Yosani Clay to Antonio Salinas. Pride of Zilla, Washington. Mor Cranston has it poked away. Luke Love Lady, good vision and awareness. Cranston to the bench for the Wolves. Myers returns. Luke Lovelady takes a seat. Green, Johnson, Menace, Holden, and Ayala on the floor. And the ball was apparently last touched by Western Oregon, turning it over to the Vikings. They lead by two, 219 left. The Western Washington women's basketball team Watch the first game of the day to see who they would play tomorrow, and they know they will play St. Martin's tomorrow at 2.15. St. Martin's defeated Western Oregon earlier today. Kai Johnson attacks the rack. Salinas the rebound. Ahead to Clay. Clay to Myers. Myers spins outside. Salinas thought about the three. Instead, 
the one extra pass, the three is short by Clay. The Vikings women's basketball team still here to root on the Viking men's hoops team. Ayala looking for Green, down low, under the basket, nowhere to go. Ball stripped by Myers. 90 seconds left in half number one. We haven't had scoring in a while, but Myers changes that. No, he does not. It pops out. Jalen Green running well on the knee that was hurt earlier to Ayala down low. Spins in the lane. He's fouled. Will they count the bucket? They do. Dakota Ayala, a chance at a three-point play. Ayala lets the free throw fly. Rims off. Holden tries to save it, but it goes right to the Wolves. They're going the other way. Price for three. Money. It's a one-point game. Play stopped for just a second to fix the net. Western Oregon looked like they were headed for a timeout. They're going to the bench. Vikings up 26-25. Final minute of half number one here in Lacey, Washington. Green almost has it stolen, and he does have it stolen. Yosani Clay, another three on the way for Price. That one's short. Minis corrals the rebound, makes sure nobody else can take it from him. Just like you thought it would be. A close, tight contest between these two clubs and traveling called on Dakota Ayala. 33 seconds left in the first half. Vikings 26, Wolves 25. Back after this on GNAC.TV. Back here in Lacey, Washington for the final 33 seconds of a tight ball game here in Lacey, Washington in the GNAC Men's Basketball Championships. Sean Wally with you. Thank you for tuning in on this Wednesday evening. Wolves can take the lead. About a two and a half second differential shot and game clock. Myers guarded by Menace. Myers happy to use clock, six to shoot. The jumper on the baseline rattles home for Western Oregon. Price the bucket, one second left. Minnis for three, way too strong. And Western Oregon takes the lead in the final seconds of half number one. After 20 minutes of play, Western Oregon 27, Western Washington 26. We've reached halftime in Lacey. We'll be back in about 15 minutes with second half action on GNAC.TV.
Back here in Lacey, Washington, as we get set for the final 20 minutes of action, second half action between Western Oregon and Western Washington in the Gene Knack Men's Basketball Championships. The eight versus the nine after 20 minutes. The nine seed, Western Oregon, up one point, 27-26. A low scoring affair. Defense, the name of the game, but also missed shots, missed close opportunities by both teams. Western Washington missed a dunk. Western Oregon missed a bunch of layups, point blank. As we take a look at points, two guys for Western Oregon leading the way with eight each, Myers and Morrill Keeler. Price right there with seven. Western Washington very spread out scoring. Lucas Holden leading the way with nine points on four of six shooting. Everybody else has two or three, but Dakota Ayala has six. Rebounding edge so far, Western Oregon 21 to 18 over Western Washington. Getting the advantage on the offensive side, seven to four. Both teams have 14 defensive rebounds. The Vikings lead in assists, 10 to seven. Vikings also lead in turnovers, 11 to nine. Both teams have two blocks. And you add everything up, it's a one point lead for Western Oregon as we get set for the final 20 minutes of basketball action for one of these clubs. One team will move on and play tomorrow, live another day. The other team will be done. Never a fun time for the seniors to know their college career is over. RJ Seacrest saves the pass, misses the shot, gets another opportunity, that one missed. Jalen Green taps it out, it'll be Western Oregon ball. Wolves up one, their first possession of the second half. How is there no call there? Apparently, R.J. Seacrest was moving. The Viking bench doesn't agree, but there's a turnover on the other end by Price. Menace ahead to Seacrest. Jalen Green has it poked away, and that time a whistle is blown. Western Oregon foul on Myers. That is his second, first foul of the half. Green inbounds, gets it right back. Cranston on him. Jalen Green finally puts the ball down on the floor, throws it away. RJ Seacrest can't handle it. Myers steps on the sideline. That's a turnover. Turnovers to start the first minute of the second half. Jalen Green down low to Luke Lovelady. Lovelady outside, Minnis, the catch, the shoot. Off iron, battle for the basketball. Morreal, Keeler has it, and a foul, I believe, will be called on Lucas Holden of Western Washington. No, they're gonna give it to Lovelady. That is his first, so no foul trouble for Luke at this point. First team foul on the Vikings in half number two. Still no scoring. One minute in to the second half. Myers with Minnis on him. The defensive player of the year in Minnis showing why. Myers in the lane. Finds Cranston, his fadeaway. Off iron, Luke Lovelady the rebound. Director of communications for the GNAC. Blake Tim says Luke Lovelady has the best name in the conference. LL, point blank, can't get it to go. Muriel Keeler, the rebound. Ahead to Price. Price in front of his own bench. Coach Wes Pfeiffer looking on, and a foul is called. Bucket good. What a strong move in the lane by Tyreek Price. There's a second foul quickly on Lovelady. So take a look at the drive by Price and the bucket. Price converts. The Wolves now up four. 
Jalen Green, right back to Seacrest. Lovelady, back to Green. Seacrest finds Menace. Menace open for three, rims out. Rebound to Cranston. Cranston ahead to Clay. Clay working on holding to the window. Shot is short. Seacrest has it. Doesn't have numbers. He doesn't care. Finds Menace. Menace. Round to Seacrest. Seacrest the bounce to Love Lady. Outside Holden to Green. Menace is open. They don't find him. Green in the lane. Finds LL the lefty. First points in the half for Western Washington. A long high arcing three is short by Myers. Rebound right to Holden. Holden ahead to Menace. Seacrest wanted the ball. Menace doesn't get it to him. Coach Tony Dominguez of the Vikings wanting his players to move. Menace baseline outside. Green open for three. We have a blocking foul on Western Oregon as Tyreek Price hit the deck. And the foul is on Price. Seacrest right to Ayala, the big man for three. Rims out. Seacrest battles for the rebound outside the menace so the Vikings can reset. Trying to tie the game or potentially take the lead. Menace off the screen from Ayala. Menace looking for Ayala, I think, and it's t stolen by Myers. The other way to Price. Seacrest trying to come away with it and does. Back and forth we go. Who wants to score? Nobody knows. Menace to Ayala, the catch. Down low, working on Morel Keeler. Green outside. Green in the paint to Ayala. Going up against Keeler and a foul called. I believe that'll be on John Morel Keeler. It is. That is his second. Sending Dakota Ayala to the free throw line. Ayala hoping to tie the ball game with two made free throws. The senior out of Troutdale, Oregon. First free throw rattles off. Ayala, 6'8", 235. Takes a deep breath. Let's a second free throw fly and hits it. Myers with it for the Wolves. Explodes in the lane, stops, finds Moriel Keeler. Off window with the right hands. Wolves by three. Vikings look to answer. Menace playing extended minutes without superstar shooter Daniel Hornbuckle. Jalen Green, a high bounce off the back rim. Moriel Keeler, the rebound. Myers finds Clay. Clay goes baseline, a blocking foul called on Lucas Holden. 15-29 left in this one. Low scoring game, Wolves 32, Vikings 29, back after this on GNAC.TV.
Back here in Lacey, Washington, inside Marcus Pavilion on the campus of St. Martin's University. Sean Wally with you here on GNAC.TV. Thank you for tuning in on this Wednesday evening. Who wants to continue playing? These teams definitely not shooting the ball well, hence the low score. Western Oregon shooting 35%. Western Washington, not any better, 34%. Even worse, three-point shooting percentage. Western Oregon, 10%. Western Washington, just like field goal percentage, 9% at three points. Teams have combined two of 21 from beyond the arc as Kai Johnson steals it away from Price. Vikings down three with the ball. Johnson looking for Ayala instead, holding up top. Jalen Green holds the ball at the hip. The drive off window gets it to fall. It's a one point game. Myers in front of his own bench. Between the leg dribble, out top to Clay. Finds Price, looking for Memorial Keeler. He and Ayala battle for the basketball. They say it was last touched by Dakota Ayala. Which means Wolf basketball. Nobody wants to inbound it for Western Oregon. Finally get Clay over there. Clay finds Myers. Right back to Clay. Green steps up on him, but he drives the lane, the fadeaway. Off iron, Green the rebound to Minnis. Minnis for three. That one missed. Still single digit three point percentage for the Vikings. Minnis to Ayala, working on Moriel Keeler. Minnis gets it right back, three to shoot. Shot clock at one, nobody notices. Cranston the steal, he's racing into the lane, lays it up with the left hand. Three point lead for Western Oregon. Minnis splitting the defense, takes it to the lane, he is fouled. Rolls on the floor and he will get two shots. Cranston hit with the foul. The Rocket, a 5'10 sophomore, 160 pounds, out of Kent, Washington, hits the first free throw. Seacrest returns for the Vikings. Jalen Green takes a seat. Antonio Salinas and Hughes return for Western Oregon. Calling a foul on Lucas Holden. Trying to get the loose ball. 13-49 remaining. Wolves 34, Vikings 32. Back after this on GNAC.TV. Back here in Lacey, Washington, Sean Wally. 
with you. Austin Burns producing and Giselle running camera from St. Martin's volleyball fame. Out of the timeout, Western Oregon basketball, they lead by two. Myers guarded by Menace. Myers right side of the lane. And traveling is called as Myers lost the ball briefly. Vikings ball. They trail by two. Five on the floor for Western Washington. Holden Menace, Johnson, Seacrest, and Ayala. The Wolves counter with Salinas. Myers as Kai Johnson attacks the rack with the right hand. We are knotted at 34. Myers, Cranston, Morrill, Keeler, Hughes, and Salinas on the floor for Western Oregon. Salinas fires from three, looks good, and it is. Zilla Washington is all smiles. Salinas hits the three, and Menace throws it to the scorer's table, giving the ball back to Western Oregon. Antonio Salinas across half court. Finds Hughes. I'm sorry, Myers. Outside Salinas, another three. Kid can shoot, but that one's short. Seacrest comes away with it, streaking across half court. Finds Kai Johnson, goes baseline, a block called on Moriel Keeler. Third foul on Morel Keeler. Something to keep an eye on as we move forward with the final 12-44. Both teams, five fouls in the half. Jalen Green in the corner. Green is fouled. That's the sixth team foul on Western Oregon. Cameron Cranston hit with the foul. His second. Vikings will inbound again. Seacrest all the way out top, but it's intercepted. Too high and short. Hughes the other way. Jalen Green slaps him, and a foul is called on Green. Tyson Hughes to the free throw line for the Wolves. The 6'3 junior from Inglewood, California. Hughes lets the free throw fly. Now a four point lead for Western Oregon. Second free throw is good. Five point lead for the Wolves from Monmouth, Oregon. Seacrest breaks the press to Johnson. Kai Johnson circles back outside. Looking for Ayala, Ayala not ready. Salinas intercepts the pass. Head to Myers, Salinas, Cranston into the lane. Ayala, shot is short. Kai Johnson has the basketball. Vikings need a bucket, down five. Menace and Lovelady set the check back in for the Vikings. Kai Johnson spins baseline, shot over the basket. Hughes explodes in the lane, looking for Memorial Keeler. Kickball called. It'll be Western Oregon ball. 11-41 left. 39-34, Wolves up five. Back after this on GNAC.TV.
Back here in Lacey, Washington, Sean Wally with you. Thanks for tuning in on this Wednesday evening in this win or go home ball game. Who wants it more? Neither team showing a ton of spunk and energy in this loser out game. Hughes converts 41 34, Western Oregon. Can the Vikings answer and get back in this one? Menace for three. Can't connect. Battle for the basketball. Western Oregon has it. That's Myers. And a foul is called on the Vikings. RJ Seacrest hit with the foul. Sending Myers to the line. Fans of the Great Northwest Athletic Conference would like to thank its corporate partners who are supporting this year's GNAC Championships. Under Armour, BSN Sports, Enterprise Rent-A-Car, Travel Leaders, Pacific Office Automation, Baron Rings, Jana King, and Samsung. Thank you for your support of GNAC Sports. after the free throws. A nine point lead for Western Oregon. Where is Daniel Hornbuckle when you need him to light up the three point line? That's what Western Washington is asking. Lovelady in the lane. Seacrest attacking the baseline. Can't get that to go from point blank, wow. Western Oregon starting to feel it. Hughes the miss, Green the rebound. Menace the behind the back dribble. Vikings need a bucket. They need to get some momentum going. Salinas on defense. Open is Holden for three. Short, gets his own rebound. Drives baseline, he is fouled and will go to the free throw line. John Morrill Keeler, his fourth personal. You would think he will check out with 10.25 remaining. So far, no movement on the bench for Western Oregon. Lucas Holden spins the basketball, lets the free throw go. Fans, make sure to visit GNACsports.com for all the latest in conference news, statistics, standings, and so much more. And don't forget to follow the GNAC on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All you have to do, just search GNAC Sports. Austin Burns does it all the time. It works. Holden, the left-hander, spins the basketball. Second free throw. Rattles home. First points in a long while for Western Washington. Myers guarded by Jalen Green. Kai Johnson set to check back in for the Vikings. Myers to Cranston. Green switches to him. Price back to Cranston. Nine to shoot for Western Oregon. Cranston the drive swatted by Green. Ball out of bounds. Last touch by Cranston. Vikings get the ball back. Exactly halfway through. The second half here in Lacey, Washington on this Wednesday evening. Thank you for tuning in to the GNAC Championships in men's basketball. Win or go home. The loser is out. The winner will play tomorrow night at 7.30. No rest. Lucas Holden, baseline, and a foul is called on Western Oregon. That foul foul will be assessed to Keont Myers. His third. Holden hit two free throws earlier. Hopefully he's in rhythm. Viking fans would like him to sink these. First free throw. Good. Dakota Ayala returns for the Vikings. Luke Lovelady to the bench. Lucas Holden out of Anaheim Hills, California. Second free throw in the air. 
and down. Colin Warmoth back into the game for Western Oregon. Myers will take a seat with those three fouls. Five-point lead for Western Oregon. Antonio Salinas gets the inbound, gets it right back to Hughes. Now Salinas across half court. Warmoth has the speed advantage on Ayala, who commits the foul. Bucket good. Definite mismatch there, and Warma took advantage. Let's take a look at the replay, the body bump. Ayala right to the bench for the Vikings. R.J. Seacrest back in the game. Warmoth converts. Back to an eight-point lead for Western Oregon. Jalen Green taps to Seacrest, holding wide open the three. Just like most three-pointers, not going in. Seacrest gives it back to Holden. He tries again, short. Green, the offensive rebound, goes right back to the cup. 46-40, the count. Price guarded by Holden. Antonio Salinas. Seeing much more playing time than he did when these two teams met in Bellingham a few weeks ago. Minnis hit with his first foul. So we are in a both teams in the bonus. One and one situation moving forward. Cameron Cranston to the line, the 6'6 junior out of Vancouver, Washington. Hits the free throw. He'll get one more. Cranston misses the second. Green corrals the rebound. Ahead to Menace. Vikings have the ball. They're down seven. Kai Johnson from right here in Olympia, Washington. Jalen Green with Cranston on him. Green, cross court to Seacrest. Seacrest goes baseline to the rim and he's fouled. The senior will head to the free throw line with 8.31 left. Foul on Hughes, that is his third. R.J. Seacrest out of Bremerton, Washington, the 6'2 senior. Hoping this is not his final collegiate basketball game. Free throw is short. Second free throw. That rims out. Got to take advantage of those three opportunities, especially when you're down seven. Salinas in front of his own bench for the Wolves. Drives on Kai Johnson. Under the basket. What a move by Salinas, but it doesn't fall. Are you kidding me? Kai Johnson has the loose ball. Minnis. Into the lane. Looking for Jalen Green. Should be a kick ball. But instead, they just say it was off of Western Oregon. Seacrest to inbound for the Vikings. Gets it to Green. Green attacks Cranston in the lane. Floater is short. Western Oregon up seven with the basketball. Traveling is called on Hughes, giving the ball back to Western Washington. 7.54 remaining. Wolves lead by seven. Back after this on GNAC.TV.
Out of the timeout, Viking basketball. They've got some work to do if they want to continue their season. Down seven, Seacrest has it to Menace. They go to Jalen Green, cross court, Holden. Baseline drive, Kai Johnson point blank and good. Wolves up five. What a matchup. Two of the better guards in the GNAC, Antonio Salinas and D'Angelo Minnis. Warmoth for three. That looks good, and finally a made three. Haven't been many of them this evening. Extends the Wolf lead to eight. Minnis in the lane. The underhand scoop from the hip. That's a pretty shot. Salinas and Kai Johnson now. Salinas, wow, the laser in the corner. Another three, and this time, back-to-back -back threes. Price hits this one. Wolves starting to heat up. Vikings down nine. Minnis finds Seacrest, baseline. Cranston, his step-back jumper by Seacrest. Shot will not fall, but a foul away from the basketball on Kai Johnson. Interesting substitution for Western Washington. Maybe trying to find some offense, some energy. Javion Garrett into the game. Hasn't seen a lot of time this season. Except he's not allowed in the game quite yet, along with Luke Lovelady. Salinas at the line. Nothing but net. Ten-point lead for Western Oregon. Seacrest and Johnson to the bench. Lovelady and Garrett into the game. Interesting. Is that one low sock and one high sock Garrett's wearing? You don't see that often. I don't know if that's a fashion statement or just what he likes to feel. Garrett has the ball, explodes in the lane, looks outside for Holden, intercepted, throws it right to Antonio Salinas. Warmoth loses it. Can Holden save it? He cannot. It'll be Wolf basketball. Head coach Wes Pfeiffer of Western Oregon telling his team to relax, calm down. We're up 11. We're sitting pretty. Salinas directing traffic, gets the inbound into Warmoth. Salinas gets it back. And a foul on Luke Lovelady as he pushed Cranston. That'll send Cranston to the line. Cameron Cranston, the 6'6 junior from Vancouver, Washington, rattles the free throw home. Thirteen point lead for Western Oregon. Vikings need some intensity and some energy. If they want to get back in this one. Garrett, nowhere to go. Outside Menace. His three. Finally, a made three for Western Washington after the Wolves hit two. Cranston slowly walks across half court to Price. Now Hughes has it. Hughes in the lane, and a foul is going to be called on Javion Garrett. Interesting. Public address announcer said a traveling. Fans said he traveled first before the foul, but nonetheless, the foul is called. No traveling call, except from the stands. That doesn't exactly count. Hughes takes his time at the line. Extends the lead to 11. Garrett quickly to the bench. RJ Seacrest back into the game.
Hughes second free throw, good. 12 point lead for Western Oregon. Seacrest inbounds to Minnes. Minnes and Seacrest play catch. Jalen Green in the lane, layup good. Hughes across half court to Salinas. Salinas guarded by Holden. Hughes wide open for three. Off rim, Jalen Green the rebound. The Vikings are going to mount a comeback. Now's the time to do it. We approach five minutes left. Minnis in the lane, stops. Another scoop, that won't go. He gets the rebound, put back blocked. Salinas has the loose ball. Two on one, Salinas to the lane, too strong. Hughes has it, back to Salinas. Somehow Cranston all alone for the layup in the lane. 440 left. 61-49, Wolves. Minnis in the lane. Foul called on Antonio Salinas of the Wolves. That'll send Jalen Green to the free throw line. I don't know if you've watched Western Washington men's basketball for any length of time, especially up in Bellingham. Maybe they're missing the great spirits of Ryder Cunningham, their longtime team manager, to root them on. I know he's watching this broadcast and rooting on his Vikings. Jalen Green, short arm the free throw. Four twenty-eight left. Wolves, a comfortable lead. Western Oregon takes a timeout. Wolves lead it, 61-49. Back after this on GNAC.TV. Fans, Under Armour is the official apparel supplier of the Great Northwest Athletic Conference office and a proud sponsor of GNAC Championship events. Under Armour, turn wish into will. 428 left in this one. Western Oregon looking to punch their ticket to tomorrow with a how do you do date with the number one top ranked St. Martin Saints and host of this fine tournament. Jalen Green at the line. Free throw. Rims out. Moriel Keeler back into the game for the Wolves. Has the rebound. And the Wolves have a 12-point lead. Green taps it from behind to Minnis. Green corrals the basketball and lays it up and in off the left side. Vikings within 10. Full court press. Somewhat applied by Western Washington. Broken by the Wolves. Inside four minutes now. Price to Cranston. Cranston left hand dribble. Holding on him. Cranston bumped. Fouled. Count the bucket. Foul on Lucas Holden. His third. Take a look at the replay. The fake, getting holding up in the air. Always dangerous when you leave your feet. Cranston rattles it home. 
64-51, Western Oregon. This will be three wins in three meetings in the Battle of the Westerns. If Western Oregon hangs on. Luke Lovelady is fouled by Moriel Keeler, and that is his fifth, and he is done for the game. Taking a seat, gets a high five from head coach Wes Pfeiffer. Lovelady to the line. The senior misses the free throw, he'll get another. Possibly. The final game in the collegiate career of R.J. Seacrest, Dakota Ayala, and Luke Lovelady. Three minutes, 37 seconds left to determine that. Lovelady can't hit the second either. Seacrest tries to get the rebound but cannot. Warmoth has it to Salinas. Salinas ahead to Hughes. Right back to Antonio Salinas. Cranston guarded by Lovelady. Cranston attacks the right side of the lane. Too strong on the shot. Jalen Green the rebound. Green looking for Holden. And that's intercepted. Caught by Warmoth. Tries to keep it in bounds. Does. But Seacrest has it. Holden for three. Another miss. Inside three minutes now. The clock not in favor of the Vikings, nor the scoreboard. Warmoth, his three is short. Minnis, the rebound. Minnis in the lane, no foul called, but his layup is good. 2.41 left. It's Wolves 64, Vikings 53. Back after this on GNAC.TV. Out of the timeout, Wolves have the basketball up 11. Vikings extend the defense. Seacrest pops the ball up. Jalen Green has it. He stops for a quick three, something the Vikings haven't been able to hit tonight. But Kai Johnson is there to get it to single digits. Cranston has it for the Wolves. Doesn't cross half court, but he finds Salinas. Cranston holds, using clock. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Cranston to Warmoth, back to Cranston. Four, Cranston shoots, off rim. Holding the rebound, Vikings need to hurry. Inside two minutes, they're down nine. Jalen Green has it tapped away, but he gets it back. Finds Kai Johnson, he explodes, he's fouled on the floor. There'll be no basket, but that will send Johnson to the line. And hey, with only a minute 43 left, the free throw line is a good place to be. So take a look at the replay. The last bucket by Western Washington, Kai Johnson, doing good things there and here, getting the foul, and he's at the line. Short. Short. 
Johnson short arm the free throw. I'm sure he's enjoyed coming back home. Went to Olympia High School. Second free throw rims off. Ball loose, but corralled by Hughes. Hughes now double teamed in the backcourt. And a foul called. No, they gave a timeout to Western Oregon with 1.39 left. Still a nine point ball game. Wolves in control on GNAC.TV. Out of the timeout, Western Oregon ball. Wow, Kai Johnson gets ran over, no whistle. And a foul finally called on Hughes. That'll be assessed to Jalen Green. Kai Johnson can't believe the call. He's talking to an official. Jalen Green, his third foul. Hughes to the line to extend the Wolf lead. Misses the first. Hughes will get one more. Looking for a 10 point Wolf lead. Gets it. Just 90 seconds left in the season. What looks like for the Western Washington Vikings. Kai Johnson, a hard drive. He is fouled. Myers hit with the foul. Johnson goes back to the free throw line where he just missed two. Johnson's first free throw, short again. The winner of this will have just over 24 hours to rest up and get ready for the number one seeded and host St. Martin Saints tomorrow night, 7.30. We'll have that game right here on GNAC.TV. A foul is called on Western Washington. The Vikings want some form of a review. Don't think that was a foul. I thought he stumbled out of bounds. Tony Dominguez or the Vikings talking to an official. Tyreek Price to the line. The 6'1 senior out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Looking like he is not playing his final collegiate basketball game. The lone senior on the Western Oregon Wolves roster. Misses the free throws. Vikings down 10. Green loses it right to Myers. Loose ball picked up by Cranston. Cranston across to Hughes. And Hughes is fouled. Lucas Holden, his fourth foul. Both teams, low shooting percentages, too many turnovers. Missed free throws, but not that one as Hughes knocks it down, extending the lead to 11. Got to wonder what's going through the minds of seniors R.J. Seacrest, Luke Lovelady, Dakota Ayala, as their collegiate careers are 60 seconds away from coming to an end. 
Menace had Holden wide open, didn't see him. Holden fires anyway after he gets the ball. And that ball is short. Out of bounds to Western Oregon. It's tough to beat a team twice in a season. Even tougher to beat them three times, but Western Oregon about to do that. Antonio Salinas is fouled, and he will head to the free throw line. Jalen Green, his fourth foul. Antonio Salinas, the pride of Zillow, Washington, just a sophomore. Think of the battles we're going to have for years to come between Salinas and Minnis and Hornbuckle. All very quick guards, great scorers. Good on defense. Menace, the defensive player of the year in the GNAC. Pretty crazy how things come full circle. I called Antonio Salinas high school championship at the Sun Dome a few years back. And now here he is in the GNAC. Jalen Green for three. Rims off. Rebound to Myers. And... Western Oregon happy to let the clock run. About a five second difference in the game and shot clock. No reason to foul if you're Western Washington down 14. RJ Seacrest not giving up, wants one more bucket, wants a steal. Got the steal, doesn't get the bucket. Minutes the rebounds. He's fouled and will go to the line with just 4.4 ticks left. Foul on Hughes. Menace, a chance for one more point, and gets it. Western Oregon trying to get the final four seconds off the clock, but Lucas Holden not giving up, knocks it out of bounds. Cranston to inbound. And Western Oregon wins the Battle of the Westerns for a third time in the 21-22 season. The Wolves victorious, moving on in the GNAC Championships. They win it 70-59 over the Western Washington Vikings. An 11-point win for the Wolves. They get St. Martin's tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. right here on GNAC.tv. For Western Washington, the season ends, and the collegiate careers of Dakota Ayala, R.J. Seacrest, and Luke Lovelady have come to an end. Definitely bittersweet for those three young men, but they will have bright futures ahead of them in whatever they do. A good game for Coach Wes Pfeiffer and his Wolves. 70 points on the board, enough for the victory here this evening. They move on and face St. Martin's tomorrow night at 7.30. Join us starting at noon. Four games tomorrow in the GNAC Championships. Be right back here with you in Lacey, Washington from Marcus Pavilion. Noon tomorrow, noon, 2.15, 4.30. I'm sorry, 5 o'clock and 7.30. Four games, a long day of basketball. Join us tomorrow. The Wolves advance, defeating the Vikings 70-59 in the GNAC Championships. Sean Wally with Austin Burns producing and Giselle running camera. Western Oregon prevails by 11. We'll talk to you tomorrow on GNAC.TV.